Welcome to Osborne, the technical magazine with Wolfgang Rudolf. I would like to welcome you today and I would like to show you two products which I find very interesting. But before I would like to tell you why we really need technique. Certain technique special technology for our, I would like to say, daily work, cameras. There is something special. They are, for years, for me, very attractive. I have also thought, how is it really? Hearing is a story and we can extend it. We did it as kids. We took a garden horse pie, put a cup or something on each end, went round the corner and we could hear each other. But how does that work with looking? Looking through a horse pipe doesn't work so easily. We have to have other things. Naturally, we could take optical fibers with special optics. It's not so easy. That's why probably the cameras in the original form have grown more into the industrial and private area. And this camera technology has made fantastic developments. Have a look here. I've brought something with me. That is a chunk. It is a semi-professional camera and it cost in those days 4,000 German marks, but it was more than a quarter of a century ago. Heavy and it couldn't record anything. It needed a recorder for that. It didn't have a power block. They weren't that far in those days. Plus the plug, a 10-pole plug in itself, a massive bulk. And when I show that next to a very modern camera, you can see the difference in the size. At the front, this little part, is a totally modern camera. It has an objective. You can actually adjust as well. And on the back, the connections. So this camera, the little one, it has a higher resolution as my big chunk here. This little camera makes a much better picture as the big chunk. It makes in the dark much better recordings as that thing because that needed a lot of light in those days. And it doesn't cost 4,000 German marks or so. But in large quantity, not even 5 euros, around about 3 to 4 euros. What I saw last, if you buy a thousand pieces and even in the single piece, they only cost about 10 euros. So this technology has made a massive leap. And so it is possible to make a sort of a garden hose for our eyes. This camera attaching to a long line onto a display, we look at and can see what is happening anywhere far away. And what you can do, especially with little cameras, I want to show you now. From PC, I have brought for you a video scope. Yeah, endoscope. But this term you usually use in the medicine area. We say here in the technical area, more videoscope, to make a clear difference. This is the VE-330. The 330 explains a device with a two-meter endoscope, or how we say videoscope tube. Why we say that, I don't know exactly. Let's have a look at the device. That's how it looks like, very handy, so you can hold it in one hand. The on button, over it a wide key to make video recordings with a resolution of 320 to 240 image points, the very big key to take photos. All of the recordings are saved onto the delivered memory card. I'll show you in a bit where that inserts. But the photos, we have the double or more or less the four times resolution, 640 to 480 image points. And then we have here at the top the menu keys. I can, for example, when I push the OK key, see a menu, an AV out, the device I can attach to a video device or a TV or monitor, with a video in, the cable for that is also delivered with the device. Daytime, language setting, I think seven or eight languages, different European languages are possible. TV system, Palo NTC, so all that what you need. And when I go out of it now, we have a green bar that shows me how much space is on the memory card. And that is simply everything. Let's have a look at the side. 
at the top is the insert slot for the memory card which is delivered with it and here we have underneath the rubber cover we find our port for the video and the bottom the uh, in port for the delivered with sub power supply so I'll shut the flap and here behind is a lid for the USB connection and here at the bottom is a fine setting and we have to look at the front of the optic and at the front of the optic you can see what happens I can set the lightness very light, darker, very dark or out that means the lightning strength what I want to see so I have also naturally tried things with this I have a pile of wood I wanted to look at because sometimes I hear things inside and I would like to know if anything is living inside I went with that inside have a look, that's what the original picture looks like when we're with this long tube I'll just take it apart and you can see that it's really two meters if you go inside of anything it is a flexible tube with a bending radius of 90 millimeters that is usually for the most cases sufficient and if you want to look around corners there are three different attachments with it there are deflection mirrors with different angles 90 degrees, 110 degrees, 70 degrees you attach simply onto the top and you can look around corners without having to bend so a device with a built-in battery complete with all parts you need though also this camera part the bending tube detach and attach a shorter or longer tube depending on what your needs are a device which everywhere where you have to look inside something where with a normal thing like our eyes you do not get inside of because with the 5.5 millimeter diameter you come into nearly every space and then can see from outside what it looks like inside a video scope or endoscope where the term endoscope more in the medicine area is used but they mix a little but we are talking about the technical term really a videoscope a device with which you record videos in technical areas like service, maintenance areas and such so that's what the device looks like it is the VE350 here at the bottom we have the power switch that we can turn it on power switch is really false it has a built-in battery so it is the turn on button of the device the white key with this you start video recordings with a resolution of 320 to 240 imaging points here I can take photos just push on it and a photo is made and that with a resolution of 640 to 480 image points above it there are what you can say cursor keys and a menu key I can do different settings here the device has a video out which we can see here I can attach a display monitor or TV to it that what the camera sees live to see too date and time is clear language up to seven or eight languages we can set TV system Palo NTC and so forth but we'll go out again here you can see the occupancy of the memory card there isn't much on it and on the side is a delivered memory card in that's where the data is saved I can also take it out here's the video connection at the top the case cable is also delivered with here the power supply is connected which is included and on the other side is underneath the lid the USB connection and the adjuster for the lightness of the optic when I turn it on it goes from out on and different states of lightness I can set with it depending on what I need so something very special has this device and that is here you have the possibility when I turn on this control knob and now watch what the camera head does when I turn it 
It moves. That means when I'm looking somewhere, I can additionally turn the head. It looks crazy somehow. I'll hold it here next to the knob and have a look how it moves. It looks like it is some sort of animal that looks around the corner or something. It is very interesting and very useful. I made a few recordings in my car in the boot lid where I can't look inside. I've looked for a cable, the cable from the reverse camera, and it helped me with it. And as you see, you have to know what it is to recognize it. But if I am looking for something, I know I'm what I'm looking for. I can show you something else. Have you ever looked in my trouser pocket? No, you haven't, because it's down there. With this, this, we could look inside. So, see what I have in there. Let's have a look. So, in there is my car keys. And somewhere there is my pocket knife. This big thing that I always have with me. And even when that is not a typical usage for this, you can see light distinctive pictures. From there where you can't get to with your head or eyes. An eye extension for all those working in the technical maintenance or service area, a wonderful aid. So, two very nice devices, which are very useful. I was pleased, pleased with them. I will work with them for a couple of days before I give them back. But let us back to them. That is the device PCE VE330 with the 2 meter tube. In this version, it gives also with 1 meter or 10 meter. 10 meter is a lot. With lighting on the front, which can do videos and also normal recordings as pictures. A device which in the most cases is good enough. And here we have a device, it has a little bit thicker tube, the PCE VE350. The tube from the one before was 5.5 millimeters, this is 6 millimeters, but it is also has an extra feature what we never had before. This changing of the angle with the remote. With this turning wheel, which you can look around corners with. So I hope you like to, to see these devices in action. So now we say that is the VE350 in me. Bye and wavy wavy. <laughs>